Welcome to the Young Homestead. We'll be doing winter chores today. We need to move Rosie Cow into the upper field because we have baby goats coming soon. We'll be feeding chickens, hauling water, and we'll show you how to make a snow plow. Oh, puppies! You guys are venturing out into the deeper snow. Oh, what fun! Hi, guys! Do you want to come out? Do you want to come out and run with the big doggies? Oh, look how sweet you are. Maybe when I'm done with chores. Well, my hair dryer killed the house. Happens every once in a while. Proper footwear, sweetie. Hey, thanks. <laughs> so you the reason to wear flip flops when you're outside on a roof. Yeah, of course. Really, there's never a bad time to wear flip flops. <laughs> the reason my hair dryer killed the house is because our solar panels are completely covered in snow. I didn't even know that we had gotten snow last night, but it was just enough to make it so that we're not getting any power from this gorgeous sun we have right now. Oh my gosh. Well, the metal's hot, sweetie. <laughs> Here's the aerial view of the young homestead. <laughs> ah! I mean, I guess flip-flops are superior to bare feet. There's our front yard. The kids play out there. That's a dog house down there. Rosie and the goats are up there. And all those big poles you see shooting up into the air. One day that will be a shop. Hopefully one day this summer. Good job, sweetie. This chicken right here is Monique. She is a naked neck turkin. That is not a cross between a turkey and a chicken. It is a breed of chicken. Oh, hold still, sweetie. She weighs twice what my other chickens weigh. She's a, actually a meat chicken breed, and I named her. She's a big girl, but she is such a good layer. She laid an egg every single day all summer last year, and I'm attached. I really like her. She's ugly, but oh. off you go. Tanner is snow plowing with his homemade snow plow, and then we are all off to get some water. Did we drain the hose last time? I sure hope so. Give me the camera. You do it. Yeah, that's it. You got it. Yeah. Hey, sweetie. Why is there lip gloss and sparkles all over your lips? Because you were kissing me. <laughs> hey, Tanner. Can you explain your homemade snowplow? Well, after many failed attempts, this is the easiest, fastest way to do it because you don't want to make it too strong so you can't move it. Uh huh. You don't want to make it too weak so that you break it. It has to be 
just right. Looks good. Two by 12 with a two by four screwed in at the bottom with your ratchet strap sandwiched between the two boards with lag bolts going into any old pallet to stabilize. Huh. Here, show me where the lag bolts go. Lag bolt, lag bolt, lag bolt, lag bolt, lag bolt. And then the strap. It's sandwiched between the two boards oh, so, so it doesn't nice go anywhere. And this is a fancy cutting plate. We have successfully snow plowed our driveway, the neighbor's driveway, the whole road leading out. We were gonna buy a snow plow in the fall and uh, snow plows are expensive. And, it would mount to our truck. and we, we actually a got a second hand one and uh, yeah, we couldn't get it mounted to our truck. So this has actually worked out better than anything else we could have done. And you need to angle it slightly so that the snow pushes off to one side. Ah, very important. That's important. This might be incredibly stupid, but it seems like fun. All right, go! Woo! <laughs> oh. All right. This is how our snowplow works. See how it's angled? So the snow as it builds up, this has already been plowed, but it'll build up and then straight off the side. Oh my gosh. All right, I am getting off. And then look, this is going to all be stuck. I'm going to need your man strength to pull the hog panels up and look at all that. Piece cake. Uh, hey, Rosie. Ready for a new round bale? One of our goats, Bianca, is due to have her babies in about a month and a half. And Rosie's never been aggressive with our goats. She's always lived with them. But sometimes she does push them out of the way when they're getting a drink or eating. And because Bianca's belly is starting to get bigger, I just don't want to risk Rosie pushing her with a horn in the belly. So we decided it was a good time for Rosie to move to the upper field. Yeah, yummy apple. All right. Come here. I don't know why she's suddenly so upset about it. Do you want an apple or not? Look, this isn't scary. Look. Just keep her distracted for a second here. And then put your hand, whoa, whoa, whoa. Put your hand down there. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Mm. It's like she suddenly decided she doesn't like it. You don't like your halter? What? Yeah. Look, we're gonna go up in the other area. Hold still. All right, let's go. We can actually bring the goats with us. And then... Oh, good. Come on. Come on. She doesn't actually like going up here because she knows she's gonna be by herself. Uh-oh, Tiberius. It's okay. Come on, Rose. Tiber, oh, up. Look, the goats are coming up. Too. Look, everybody's coming. Come on, Rose. Can I get the gate? Yep. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Back. Tiber, come. come yes. Well, we have 15 more years. Yeah. All right. Like, do you have any more apples, human? We need water. 
water. Rosie, look. Right here. Today we got water hauled, we got Rosie moved up into the upper pasture, and chickens are fed, dogs are fed, everybody's happy. It's been a good day. Hope you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up if you did subscribe uh, any questions or comments in the comments below and you can also follow us on instagram at the young homestead thank you so much for watching we will be doing new videos often we have no idea how often here at <laughs> your hands are really cold well let's go get your mittens does that sound like a good idea?